In a continuing effort to reduce the number of fare evaders, BART police officers are now conducting random sweeps on trains and kicking people off if they don't have a proof of payment. KPIX 5's Jackie Ward talked to riders at the Embarco de Ver station in San Francisco. BART POLICE OFFICERS ARE FOCUSING THEIR EFFORTS HERE AT THE EMBARCADERO OF BART STATION BECAUSE IT HAS THE MOST PASSENGER TRAFFIC OF ANY OF ITS STATIONS. IN ITS LATEST EFFORT TO SOLVE ITS $25 MILLION FARE EVASION PROBLEM, BART OFFICERS ARE HYPER-FOCUSED ON MORNING TRAINS. OUR FARE INSPECTORS CONDUCT uh, FARE ENFORCEMENT ON THE 13 TRAINS THAT ARE COMING OUT EVERY MORNING FROM SAN FRANCISCO. Uh, SO THEY HOLD THE TRAINS AT EMBARCADERO IN THE they do their uh, walk through the train asking for proof of payment. And the ones who don't, uh, you know, get removed from the system. BART estimates that in the more than 35 sweeps that have been done since September, 75 to 100 people have been kicked off trains each time. BART says the focus of the morning sweeps is on ejecting violators and not necessarily giving out citations. I have seen the sweeps. I think the, uh, the presence and the coverage is good. Do you hope that it'll fix this problem? I'm positive it will, and I also think it'll work itself out. It's unfortunate because for the people that ride BART, you know, commuters, they just want to get where they're going. But at the same time, our city's social safety net is pretty non-existent, and so just think the issue is very complicated. Done on random, unannounced mornings, up to 14 officers and fare inspectors conduct the sweeps starting at 5 a.m. Each train sweep lasts three to five minutes. BART has not announced an end date for these sweeps. In San Francisco, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5. Ferry Vaders are subject to a $75 fine. A juvenile citation is $55.